How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer. Welcome back to Swan Song. It's time for us to go and see Beryl Twathead in his apartment, uh, which I'm sure will be a lovely time. I can't imagine how that could possibly I could use an app. how that could possibly not be fun. I also don't remember where his apartment is. I think it was upstairs. A message from Caius. Need you downstairs. Urgent issue. Bad timing. I'm going to have to choose. Help Caius. There's no point in hanging around here bothering me. It's gonna take me a while. Very well, Mr. Sheridan. Please excuse me. Caius? Who's Caius? I don't want to talk to Vero. He's a twat. I'm gonna go get a drink soon. Good plan. I might follow you. I might go with you. Who knows? Alright. Well, I don't want to talk to Beryl, so let's go to floor minus one. Cool elevator. The elevator's here, stupid. Security. Yeah, let's see how I do that. I'm sure I got more important things to do to talk to some pompous, rich, money-oriented vampire prick. I'm sure. Right? We're waiting for Mr. Lito's signals. Until then, if you have any questions, hey, Jared. I want to report no on his problem. activities pronto. I don't like the sound of that at all. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, there you are. The Nosferatu dude. Speak in private. Private. <laughs> I've been private. Hit me. You wanted to see me. Oh my god! Have don't do that with your neck, though. Caleb. We don't usually let anybody down here, but I can bend the rules for you. You better. To what do I owe this honor? I need you. Some things come up on the night in my attack. pants. <laughs> Someone sent a message to an unauthorized recipient. Good to that face. Wait, what? <laughs> Is that a problem? Could be a major one. Not a lot of people can do that, you know. Who could have done that? That's precisely the question I want you to answer. Caleb, I need your help. I need you now more than ever before. I get the feeling that it's all connected. It's too huge to be a coincidence. Do you suspect anyone in particular? <laughs> Jara Drory. Ah. What you're telling me is extremely serious. I hope you have proof. There we go a long way. If I did, do you think I'd be asking for your help? But I wouldn't accuse her unless I had serious doubts. Think it through carefully. For starters, she's one of the few who knows how the system works. She'd be able to cover her tracks, wouldn't she? Maybe. But maybe she made a mistake. I don't know. Jara has most likely been destroyed by now. Do you have any evidence supporting what you're suggesting? Anyways, nothing concrete. Just a hunch, if you want to call it that. In my place, under the current circumstances, I can't really go poking my nose in her business. You don't have a nose. And I can. <laughs> Nobody will bother you. I'm not asking for much. Just take a look in Jara's room to see if you can find anything that ties her to any of this. And if you could do it quickly. Why? Because I'm about to erase a ton of data. It's the Code Red protocol. And since Jara vanished, the prince wants her personal data to disappear along with her. That doesn't give us much time. Okay. You in? Hell yeah, man. I could maybe go and take a look around. Vera can kiss my ass. I found a key I to her room. I found. Take it. Thanks. It's our last chance to recover the data from Jara Drury's computer. Before everything disappears for good, just insert this thumb drive and it will download everything I need. If she betrayed us, I'll know. Fine. I'll go see what I can find. Thanks. One last thing. Uh-huh. If you could keep this just between you and me. Say no more. Fine. And don't come back to see me here. It's supposed to be sealed. It'll look suspicious i'll send in an engineer after you give him the drive when you're done but don't tell him anything we have to keep this between us 
as you wish. All right, let's do it. This sounds like fun. A little subterfuge. I was going to say, man, I should have put some points into technology or something, but uh, we got a thumb drive that just hacks in and steals all her shit anyway, so we don't need it. I assume. <laughs> I hope. The prince's office. Uh oh. That was an accident. Hello? I didn't really want to go to the prince's office. Hmm, no way down apart from elevator. Okay, elevator it is. Right, I'm assuming it's in this second floor. Look, it's that lady. Caleb, our secret agent is back already. You're a real snarky bitch, you know that? <laughs> the soldier is on furlough. Not for long, I'm afraid. The prince will undoubtedly have some new task for me. At least she trusts you. She hardly speaks to her primogen. Even Beryl is in the dark. Oh no, not Beryl. Not used to that. It'll be good for him. Are you still not talking? You could say that. Any regrets? I don't see why I would have any regrets. That's no surprise. Personally, I find that giving a child so much power is dangerous. The problem is that you have to watch them all the time. Otherwise, they end up making a mess of things. But trying to influence them is pointless. You must be subtle about it. That's all. I give a man just enough freedom so that she doesn't completely hate me. But I know exactly how to make her do whatever I want. She doesn't do whatever you want. Do you really think you'll have time to embrace Fang? What do you mean? Well, with all the elders gone, who knows who will be next? That's not something I'm willing to discuss with you. Suit yourself. No, excuse me, I have to go. Of course. I don't like you at all. <laughs> You're not a fun person. You're not a fun guy. <laughs> Jara. Richard? Must be around here somewhere, right? They're an important person or whatever. Wait. Yeah, Jara. This way. We have been there before, haven't we? I only vaguely remember, but I'm sure we have. We've been in here. Oh, we just need to hack into the computer, right? What are they doing? Let's see if Caius was right. Ooh. It appears that this place was hidden with an illusion. Hmm. It's not like Jara to let that kind of thing wear off. Perhaps they did. Jara always was old-fashioned. Whatever's in this box must be important. Hmm. We need a key for that. Like left, right, left, right. Something like that. It's the Konami code. We check in the Konami code. We'll get it. Is that computer around here? Here it is. Insert bug. That should take less than a minute. Jara has always been wary of new technology. Two, three. Maybe left, right, right, something like that. Yep. Jara was conducting her own investigation. There is no way Kaius would be expecting that. Interesting. It appears Kaius was wrong. 
he and Jara may have been looking for the same individual. I suppose you should give him that information as well. I hope Caius will be able to use what's on his thumb drive. I think that's everything. Now it's Caius's turn. Hey, not a bad little uh, excursion there. Password. Arrival. Password to what? Hmm. That's interesting. You're the engineer, eh? Hello, Mr. Vizori. Mr. Lido asked me to wait until you were done. He also told me you'd have something for me. Here it is. Give it to him, and him alone. And don't ask any questions. I get it. Are you done here? You may proceed. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Hmm. I hope Caius knows what he's doing. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. Okay, now we're gonna I go see the prince. Wait. I've seen princes come and go. Hmm. In the end, it always comes down to a struggle for power between the prince and their primogen. Hazel is strong. But will she last much longer? I don't know where the elevator was. But also it said make a decision. Answer the prince's summons. That's not a decision. <laughs> There's no don't answer the prince's summons, is there? It's not really a decision then, is it? That's not how decisions work. Decisions usually have two options, not just one. <laughs> You can have any colour that you want, as long as it's black. What's up? The prince is ready to see. Oh my god! I wish they wouldn't do that with their necks. Let's roll. Great. It just still says make a decision, though. Okay. <laughs> What's up, boss? Galeb. My prince. We were expecting you. How may I be of service to you this time? One thing at a time. The situation has changed. The money is gone. The accounts have been emptied. What? That's impossible. Only Jason Moore could have transferred the money. The situation is dire. He skipped the country and Moore would never have done it on his own. Stolen all our money. Have dared. I agree. It's much too bold a move for him. And that's what concerns me the most. Someone used him to attack us. Someone who was extremely well prepared. Someone inside. Or yeah. Humans. Our enemies are everywhere. They're not just kindred. No, the kind have no knowledge of our business. Are you sure about that? It's someone diverging interests from our own. Someone on the inside. If there's a traitor among us, I'll have their head. One thing at a time. I'll take care of the traitor, personally. Failure is a luxury we will soon be unable to afford. If you have nothing more to say, we can move on to the reason I sent for you. What did you think about Richard Dunham's file? Money that should be going to me seems to go missing whenever he touches Yeah, I don't like him. Richard is far too important to me. I can't afford to upset him now. But if his research doesn't pay off soon, I won't hesitate to show him my disappointment. I need to be, we need to get rid of him. Did you read Jara Drory's file? I wish I'd never seen it. There's too much I despise in it. She never mentioned she was monitoring the Primogen's finances. But she's not here to shed any light on it. No. I'm listening. I've asked for your presence here because I have a new mission for you. Mission. Delson was able to track down the men who attacked us. It wasn't easy. But it was impossible for them to disappear without leaving a trace after what they did yesterday. Where are they hiding? Long Island. Now look. 
We actually succeeded in the thing. Yes, of course. An it's abandoned facility good feeling. just off the coast. An old fort. It's the ideal place for a secret base. And certainly much more. Who knows what they're up to out there? Oh. How is it you didn't notice? <laughs> My imagination's going wild now. And, and they all involve lives. orgies. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll find the people responsible for the situation later. Our most pressing issue is preventing them from striking us again. How? You're going to go there and kill their leader. Oh, fun. A, 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 a murder for hire mission. We're Agent 47. Sure, whatever. As I've said before, you can count on me. Good. That's what I was hoping you'd say. When the time comes, I won't forget to reward those who've been loyal to me. I won't let you down. What's the plan? They evacuated the bodies from the site of the party, which is how we were able to pick up their trail. There's a small, nondescript warehouse at Jeffrey's Point. As far as we can tell, their transfers from Boston to Long Island are made by boat. To avoid drawing attention to themselves, they've chosen to employ only small craft. There are bodies packed in the warehouse waiting to be shipped over. Do you get the picture? You want me to disguise myself as a body to be evacuated? Exactly. All you have to do is stop simulating your vital functions for a few hours. It's risky. It's risky, but it's now or never. We might never get another opportunity. We have to try. The last transfer is probably going to take place tonight. After that, there's no way of knowing when we'll get another chance. Mm, that does sound risky. Let's do it. I need to know the details. Let us worry about getting you into the warehouse. We've made all the preparations. You won't have to worry about a thing until you get to Long Island. We know where they are. Why go through their warehouse? Charging into Long Island blind would be far too risky. And with a traitor in our midst, I'd rather keep this to a small circle of trusted people to avoid any other unpleasant surprises. I guess that makes sense. And after that, once you're on the island, you'll be in uncharted territory. You'll be on your own. Who is my target? Walter Stanford. Ah, the priest. He's the head of the Boston Task Force. He's part of what they call the Society of Leopold. Someone else will take his place. No need for you to worry about that for the time being. Your mission is to eliminate Stanford. And that's all. Okay. What do we know about this Stanford? He's a creepy old man. Not much. But they're very careful. He was sent from the Vatican. And he brought other fanatics with him. If he's here, it means that Rome has faith in him. And that can't be good for us. He's got to be taken out. What's the Vatican getting out of all this? Your guess is as good as mine. But it seems that the kind are trying to get a better understanding of us in order to hunt us more effectively. These priests have been our enemies for ages. They have knowledge. Putting an end to them is crucial. We must keep our enemies from unifying their strength. I don't wish to be the bearer of ill tidings, but what if I fail? Do you have a backup plan? Galeb. You won't fail. Oh my god, you've never had a backup plan ever. We You're a bad prince. All our trust in you to complete this essential mission. There's no room for error, Vizori. Every single time they've sent us on a, a basically impossible mission, there's never been a backup plan. She's just gotten lucky so far. Terrible. Terrible leadership. <laughs> Aren't you worried someone will tip off the SI? There's still a traitor among us. The traitors, my department. You need to strike quickly. And don't let anyone know of your plans. We can't take the slightest risk. All right, let's do it. All right. I've heard enough. Very well. Then you should get going. We've already lost enough time. Very well, my prince. Could have decided to confront Beryl, but... Screw him. Anyway, moving on. We got time to keep moving. Who are we doing now? MM. Oh, nice. 
Right, let's start putting some points into like education and shit. I'd like to put at least 10 points into everything. You know? Give us a bit of a range of abilities. Being a jack of all trades seems much more effective in this game. We're back. Somehow we survived. I'm guessing you tipped Bazori off to the trader? Yes. Any news? Nothing since Richard's report. My city is in danger. Everything I've built, all the dreams I've invested, that Judas is a threat to everything. Not for long. You'll bounce back. Yes. Congratulations on your negotiations with the Chantry. Yikes. Our agreement with Hartford is crucial. Um. I almost didn't make it out. I could have ended up a guinea pig in their strange experiments. Don't be ridiculous. We would have realized you'd gone missing soon enough. And done what? I would have sent someone to get you. Ugh. That's enough brooding. That's not why I brought you here. I have a new favor to ask of you. What a surprise. About what I told you earlier concerning Delson and Long Island. I've got a plan. Oh, I know that look. Hazel. This is the best moment to strike. That sounds like the definition of rushing into things. Yes, but we have no choice. Delson? We need to blind them from the inside. They know too much about it. We have to change that. For that, we need someone to hit them with a surprise attack from within their compound. I wish that person luck. It's you. That's way out of my league. Hazel's not asking for your opinion. You proved you were reliable with Hartford. We need your skill sets for such a risky and vital task. That's precisely what's got me on edge. It's your chance to prove to the court once and for all that you deserve a place on the council, MM. She doesn't want a place on the council. Yes. You'll be untouchable. I sure hope so. All right. How do I get on this island? By boat? I doubt it. Coastline's under surveillance. So I swim across. All right. What then? Kai has wrote a program that can help us. If you can upload it into their system, It'll corrupt all the data they've got in their database. Their systems, the archives, it'll all be lost. Allowing us to cover our tracks. It's our best shot at making it through this. You'll just have to insert it into a computer that's on their network. That's absolutely essential. Any questions? You know, it's clear that Hazel is utterly incompetent, but she's nowhere near as hateable as Prince LaCroix, you know? <laughs> Your plan sounds pretty old school. There's no way to do that remotely? We've tried, but Leto's agents weren't able to breach their security. Their network's too highly protected. That's why we need you. I see. Am I allowed to take a partner? I'd feel a lot better about this if I had someone covering my back. I understand, but that's not possible. We're already taking a risk by sending a person in to infiltrate their hideout. Got it. We're not going to get a choice. So, let me get this straight. You want me to infiltrate the enemy base alone? The same enemies who just slaughtered half the camp. Quit whining. You can have help. Oh, really? Your task will not be easy. You'll need a diversion while you sabotage their system. A raid near their base. For example, that could work. Who will you send? I refuse to sacrifice any more of our people. So we might as well send in the riffraff. The Anarchs could do the job. Come again? You heard me. I want you to go see them and convince them to go with you to Long Island. You're trying to thin their herd. I'm balancing the scales, that's all. They can't stand us. They'll never agree to fight for us. Let alone on their own without us. They don't have to know they'll be alone. 
lead them to believe our forces will join up with them. The SI is a threat to the entire city. They're just as concerned as we are. That's not fair. I'm not comfortable with the idea of sending them to be slaughtered. It's despicable. It's just politics. And it's probably your only chance to come back in one piece. What if I refuse? I won't let you. Your conscience is of no concern to me. The only thing that matters is our survival. And too bad if it keeps you up at night. The true face of the Camarilla. Send someone else to negotiate. A real emissary. No one else knows the Anarchs as well as you do. They go to your clubs, don't they? They know who you are. They know they can trust you. They think they can I trust us. Know them. I see a couple of them once in a while, but that's it. We're not exactly friends. You're still in the best position to negotiate with them. Yeah. Right then. Okay, maybe she is hateable. I'm sorry. I agree. <laughs> You don't have a choice, but I'll humor you. How am I supposed to go about it? I can't just go chasing down every Anarch I know to ask for their help. There's only one Anarch that counts. They're Baron. Randall Thane? That's right. He's in charge of the various Anarch gangs in the region. I don't know where he is right now. You'll need to use your network. Hmm. I've got an idea of who I can ask. What can I use as leverage if they try to negotiate? Money. Favors. Offer them whatever seems useful. All right. One more thing. Don't tell anyone about your task. Not even your son. I saw as a dick. I don't want the council poking their noses into this. That will be all. I'm counting on you, M.M. Shove it up your ass, lady. Be careful. <laughs> and good luck. I'm gonna need it. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> Leave the court and go see the Boston Anarchs. We can't do that. M -M, there you are. Ah, piss off. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you when you got back. I was busy. Bye. Sorry, babe, you're a little late. Hazel's sending me back out there. I can't hang around. Babe, what's wrong with you? You haven't spoken to me like that since our breakup. I'm just a little surprised. What are you talking about? We never broke up. It's been 30 years. Amanda. Oh yeah, we lost a bunch of our memories. What? I don't remember. I... Come on. I get the feeling we need to clear up a few things. <sighs> yeah. No, I'm busy. I got shit to do. God damn it. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. The warlocks. I knew their library would leave a mark. They fucked with my head. So, if I understand right, you have no memory of our breakup. None whatsoever. I really thought that we... I mean... You know. There's a reason the warlocks have a bad reputation. And you said it's been 30 years? More or less. That seems like forever. And then again, the blink of an eye for us. Believe me, it's been a long 30 years. Alright, I'm out. I'm sorry, I've gotta go. I need to take some time to process all of this. The prince is sending me out on another task. I can't screw up. What kind of task? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Hazel made that exceedingly clear. If she thinks things are better like that, I believe her. For God's sake, Amem, I'm your sire. You should trust me, not that snake in the grass. Personally, I've never had anything bad to say about Hazel. Unlike me. Is that it? <laughs> You'd be singing a different tune if you knew what I know. If I knew what? Nothing. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Um... I don't care. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. 
I'm sorry. Oh man, I didn't You're mean to right. say sorry. My sire, I should believe you. And I do. We good? Would you tell me what you know? Please. I don't want to know. I want to go. Seriously, you don't think you're laying it on a little too thick? Not at all. You can be such a pain sometimes. Hazel's a smart woman. She knows what she needs to do to get what she wants. And she wants you. That's going too far. You think it's an honor, but you should really be worried. Hazel never does anything she's not sure she'll benefit from, which means she's got ways to make you bend to her will. She's careful to hide her secrets from you, safe behind her herald. Tonight could be your last chance to discover them. Very well, let's move on. You're right. You should go get some rest and do think over what we've discussed. Well, we should explore that if we can. Be careful. I'll try. I mean, you should explore it, right? Keep exploring the place before you leave. Take the elevator in April Bosley's office to go to the prince's apartment. April Bosley's office. I don't know who that is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. But uh, I suppose it's one of these ones. Do you think we have time to just leave That's her. Life? You need to be fast and effective. Destroy anything we don't need. I'd better hurry. Let's go. Come on, elevator. A direct route to the prince's apartments. April plays the guard dog. The swan's nest. I hope it's worth it. All right, we're going to wrap this one up here because we're out of time for this episode. My dear Dijan. You know the high regard I have for your advice and the even higher value I place on our special arrangement. That is why I ask you to carry the ta carry out the task we discussed yesterday. A task that you were extremely reluctant to undertake. I appreciate your objections, but the half Chantry is our best option right now. And when I say right now, it is because I'm counting on the situation changing. A change you yourself would be party to. In the interest of my projects, I cannot reveal the details, especially in writing, but keep in mind that I know where you are from and what your ancestors went through. Hartford is nothing more than a means. A tool. A tool can be replaced. Help me, and when the time comes, I will help you. Fondly, Hazel Iverson. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up here, because we're out of time. Uh, we're, I No doubt we're going to have to explore this apartment uh, as MM, and then she'll head off, and then we'll be playing as Leisha around here, getting our next mission as well. So it's time to reload on missions, I suppose, and wander about, figure more shit out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, Daphne, and I'll see you in the next one.